Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is January. A whole month has passed, pretty much a whole month since we last spoke, since I did a vlog last. And it's just because, to be honest, there was not a lot of farm work happening. A lot of stuff happened, uh, but not much farm work. So the biggest thing is over there. We'll go show you. Uh, let me just get off. I was just sat down on the bench, just enjoying my morning coffee. Uh, so I will show you the shed. It's really cold, so I'm actually going to drive. Uh, I don't normally like being this lazy, but it is freezing, and yeah, so I'm going to drive. <laughs> it is the best option for me right now. Wow, that, those lights are really bright. And they automatically turn on, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's uh, drive to the shed. So it took about two and a half weeks for them to install the shed. Obviously, I helped as much as I could just to try and keep the cost down. It was just over $12,000 for the shed, including uh, the... the um, I'll probably turn this off. The concreting and all that stuff over here. There was luckily no leveling needed to be done, which is why it was a lot cheaper. So, yeah, that's very, very good. It's a pretty large shed, as you can see. We'll probably be able to fit all of our grass stuff and then some in here, which we're going to move today. But first, I want to go have a look at some chicken coops, pens, whatever you call it. So I'm thinking this is, this is a pretty big space. I've measured it, and uh, we can fit quite large chicken coops or pens in here. Uh, there is a farmer on the opposite side of town, uh, over there somewhere, who in his spare time actually builds these for people. So he's erected some on his farm that you can go have a look at, and then you can kind of choose what you want, and uh, then when he has time, he does that. Now, that means it's a lot cheaper than getting a company to do it, but also it's not necessarily going to be as fast because he's a one-man shop, and... Yeah, it is when he's available. Luckily, it is winter, so there's not actually a lot of farming stuff going on currently, so he did say he could potentially get it done in the next two weeks if we go have a look today, make the decision today, and then, yeah, that'll be very good. Uh, he could pretty much start once he's done with his current job, um, a current pen he's putting up somewhere else, so that would be ideal. Right, so, and then what we want to do for the rest of the day, probably move that stuff over here, and then maybe if we have time, start doing this. So, currently there's nothing we can't plant yet, it's still too cold. Uh, looking at weather predictions, it will probably still be too cold for at least another month, maybe even two months, so we can't plant anything uh, it won't be safe for the seeds. They will pretty much just die, which will be a waste of money. So we're not going to do that. Probably going to be grass. And yeah, I have not put in an offer for any of these fields yet. But I'm thinking we'll probably, probably offer for that field. I do want those two fields over there. But I just don't want to spend too much money because obviously we want to buy another tractor. And we still want to buy the cows. To buy the cows, we will lease. We will have to lease a cow trailer and probably a truck. I don't think a tractor will be able to do that. So we'll probably have to lease a trailer and a truck. We'll have to buy a TMR at some point uh, or a TMR mixer at some point. But yeah, obviously not now. But I still want to... The point is I don't want to be wasting all my money now. I want to be... Trying to be as smart with the money as we possibly can so that we don't get to a point where we need to buy something but then can't because we bought two fields that we don't necessarily desperately need. You know, if we had no other fields and no other options, then that would be a different story. But we do. And I feel like we've got actually enough fields for now, at least to raise the cows. I feel like we've got enough fields to raise the cows. So we're going to stick with what we've got currently and maybe make an offer for that top field just because we can then maybe combine the two fields this guy's not going to stop well he actually kind of did uh, but obviously saw i gave him a gap anyway uh if we do buy that one then you know we can combine those two 
which will be a very big field. We'll have to cut down those trees. Again, probably just for firewood. I don't think I'll be selling that because it's some of these trees. And to be honest, they don't really go for much. So I don't think it's worth it. I think we go right to the end here. Do we go through? I think we go through town. Yeah. Yeah. So we go through town. And then it's pretty much a straight shot. And we should see it on our right. About a mile out of town from what I can remember. This looks like a biomass plant something. Pretty big. It's a probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. Right, so this is town. We're going straight through town. Kind of around the back it looks like. I've not actually driven this road before. Um, I think it's that farm up there. Yeah, it looks like there's... Yeah, there's some chicken coops there. Uh, he did say there's parking just off of the road, so we'll go... Oh, wow. I uh, see so he uses different... That looks like pellet wood almost, and then obviously the, the nicer white picket fence kind of look, which I'm assuming... Ooh, there's a parking here. It's probably a bit more expensive. All right, that's probably not the best parking in the world, but there's no one else here, so... Should be... Actually, it's not too bad. We're actually in the lines. Look at that. Uh, not there, though. Right, so... These look really nice. I do kind of like the old school... What do you call it? Coop things. We can't get over here. I do like these. And obviously the feeder's in the middle. And we've got... Another feeder here. I think this is water, actually. Yeah, this is for water. That's maybe for feed. I guess you you can choose how many of this stuff you want. That obviously decides how expensive it is, etc. Oh, the gate's locked. I am a... Well, I'm not early. He is open, but... Ooh, um, he's obviously not here right now. And as you can see, there's not much farming going on as of late. Most fields around the area are all limed. No one's planted anything as of, you know, recently. So, yeah, this one's nice. This one's nice and big. Um, let me just have a quick walk. See if I can measure. rough, Just a rough measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So lengthwise it'll fit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so it'll definitely fit in there with actually quite a lot of room. This is a nice one. I'm just going to jump over the fence here. Right, this one's a bit oddly shaped. But I do kind of like it. It's a bit neater than the end one. Obviously got an enclosed coverage for them and a little bit of a, an entrance here. Looks a bit nicer. I kind of like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards that one for now. This one does look good as well. And then this one... I think he's still putting this together. or I don't know. Uh, this one looks a lot more rustic. And he seemed to be using old pellet wood, so all of them aren't the same height. No. Uh, he's got this curved thing, which is nice. And then obviously the, the enclosure looks to be... What looks to be just a simple, yeah, so not ideal, not the best one, but probably the cheaper, cheaper option. At least they covered from rain and all that. So I don't know what the prices are uh, from looking at his Instagram and Facebook pages. It looks like the cheapest one goes for about 13,000 and the most expensive one uh, goes for about 25,000, which I could only assume would be this one. Which is a lot of money, but it's nice and big. You know, you can probably put put upwards of 100, 180 chickens in here. I guess. Maybe, maybe 90 in this one. I don't know. I like it. I like this one. This one's really nice. I think it's probably a bit too much to spend. I mean, we can afford it. If we if it's 25000 it would take us to 150000 Then, obviously, we have to buy the chickens, which they won't be... There will be maybe a, a grand or two. 
maybe three grand. And then we still obviously got the cows. I don't know. I really do want chickens just because I think it's a, it's a, it makes sense if we've got the wheat to get chickens, you know? I don't necessarily think we're going to do that now. Uh, we might get this done now because if we wait till the busiest time of the year, we might have to wait a couple of months for him to actually install it. So that's the only reason why I'm kind of looking at it now. You can see he loves his woodwork, doesn't he? Got his little fence entrance thing there as well. Quite a nice looking farm. Wow. I really like it. So yeah, I mean, I think we're going to go for that one. I'll probably send him a message or give him a call at some point in the next couple of days. Uh, think about it for a bit. And then I'll make the decision, but we're, we're leaning to the second. I'm leaning towards the second one here. The more, the more expensive one, but it looks way more sturdy. The wood is treated, the wood's painted. So maintenance costs would be a lot less. Uh, it's unlikely that you'd have to replace these fences in a, in a long while. Uh, this one's still pretty good, but the wood's not treated. And, you know, it's not as sturdy as this one. You know, weather, I think, will have an effect on this, where that one, this one obviously takes a lot longer to build, I'm sure. But anyway, right, this is what, this is the one I'm leaning towards. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the video. Maybe, maybe I haven't made the decision by the time this video is out. Uh, so we can, I don't know, maybe, maybe make the decision good together. You know, I might not be thinking about everything that I need, and uh, need to buy and need to spend money on here, so... Right, I can't really see. I'm just going to kind of wing it. There's a car coming. He's passed. Let's go. All right, we're good. Cool. Right out. So, yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards that bigger one, the more expensive one. <clears throat> I'm guessing the price depends on all the extras and stuff you get and how many, you know, of the kind of wagon things you put in and, you know, all that stuff. Um, most of that's, ooh, most of that stuff I could probably get indicator, mate. Uh, I could probably get elsewhere for slightly cheaper, but the, the fence and stuff needs to be, that's the building part. I can do it myself. I just everything going on everything setting up setting everything up and all that stuff i don't i don't trust that i'll have the time right now if you if you told me i have a week and i would be able to put it up in a week i could probably do it but the problem is something might come up and i probably won't do it for a couple of months and then we've got a half built chicken coop that doesn't actually mean anything that we spent money on getting the the you know the equipment and the wood and all that stuff and then nothing's happening with with the empty chicken coop which is not ideal you know so i feel like it'll be better if we just get somebody to do it for us rather than i try and do everything on my own you know there's there's some value in the time spent building something as well you know time is money and all that stuff right uh we're gonna start moving stuff across to the other shed uh i'm very excited for this they literally finished a couple of days ago but we actually went went away for the weekend so uh from thursday on uh we were away so i didn't actually see them finish it and didn't have time to move everything over up until today so yeah right uh it was christmas and all that stuff so we went away for new years and uh all that good stuff so that was good fun right let's grab the tractor and start moving this stuff around to the other shed. Very, very excited. Don't worry, I moved this earlier so the lights weren't on the whole time. Uh, just since this morning. It was actually parked behind my truck. <laughs> which was a bit in the way. Alrighty. Let's start moving some stuff. All right, I think we're going to start with the big things again, like the baler. We could probably, actually, we could probably do this. Probably move a couple of things at the same time. All right, so if we do grab this. And grab the baler.
Alrighty. Hmm. Also do have to have a quick look at the fields. The fields looked good this morning. Uh, but it was a little bit, still a little bit dark, so I couldn't quite look at everything as well as I wanted to. But it doesn't look like there's any, any cold damage on any of the, of the crops. So, that's good. I'm just going to cut through here. I don't know why I put the indicator on. Don't really need the indica indicator on there. Alright, that'll do. And this one, we'll probably put it behind the baler. Just there. Okay. Nice. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to fit everything in here as much as we wanted to. I feel like we should. Uh, the trailer, for example, doesn't necessarily need to go in there. Um, the fertilizer and stuff, I think we're going to store all of that here just because it's better cover. And what else? Yeah, I think I think all the grass stuff. Actually, most of the stuff will go over there. The roller might stay here just because it's a it kind of fits really well in there. The mowers will go. The tether, sorry, the the windrow will go. Probably the weeder, the cedar, most of the field stuff will go, and then we'll keep the could potentially put the trailer in there and maybe. Maybe, as in, the low loader, and maybe keep one of the other things here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can fit in there. We can obviously drive on the main road, but I try not to do that as much as I can with whenever driving a tractor, just because it's holding up traffic. It gets dirt on the road, all that stuff, which isn't ideal. Right. We're gonna go through here. And we're going to park, ooh, do the rear one first. Probably around there. Move around. They did a really good job with the concrete here as well. It's very, very neat, isn't it? This one over here. There we go. Yeah, we'll definitely fit everything in here. Or at least most most of it. There is actually quite a lot of space in there. Such a habit turning the indicator on, isn't it? I even turn it on in on uh, on our little road here that nobody else ever drives on. Next up. I think Hmm, I don't think we can do any any more together. I'm gonna put the, the cedar. Ooh, might not make that. The cedar I think I'm gonna put right behind the big mower. Uh, because we're not gonna use this immediately. And then in front of that I'll put the the could actually do that we could actually put this together wait we'll do this drop that off again turn this around i feel like i should be able to lift that with the front and then grab the cultivator yeah that just about works i mean we could have grabbed the cultivator with the front as well actually now that i think of it righto these two will go behind the mowers. And then we've still got two full areas left. This tractor is so nice. I love this tractor. That's the only part of getting a new tractor. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm not sad, but I, I will be sad when I don't get to use that one every time, you know? This is such a nice tractor. It moves so quick, drives so easily. Ooh. 
A little bit of a bump there. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. But this one just ugh, so nice. I know I say this a lot, but yeah, it is just one of the nicest tractors. We were so lucky getting this. There we go. And then we'll grab the... Probably the rower. Wind rower. Yeah. We could potentially... I don't think we can do this. Maybe we can. Ooh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I think we might still be able to fit. We'll leave that trailer there. We'll leave the roller there. And then we'll... We should be able to fit the low loader on one of the, the... The last one by the wall. I feel like we should be able to do that. That's so nice. And then that... All... Everything there. So the truck will go in there. The tractor will go in there. I'm struggling to see a little bit here. But that's okay. Alright. So first things first. Let's pull... Th straight through the wind rule too far there you go that's right that one goes there we'll go around actually could even still fit, fit the roller in here as well but the roller doesn't really take that much space so we'll leave that there for now hmm I don't know There we go. I don't know, the roller can definitely fit in here. There's loads of space. Let's grab the low loader first and then get that in and then maybe we can put the roller behind that. So yeah, the truck's going to go in there. This tractor's going to go there. The big trailer, the, the as in the blue trailer, is going to stay there where it is. And then the... Total mix ration will go in here and, and the new tractor, whenever we get a new tractor, will go in here as well. And then all storage for... Uh, this needs the trucks for this. Need the truck for this, not the tractor. And then the um, storage of the of the seed and stuff will be in here as well. Right, I'm going to just stop this here for now. Go grab the truck. Yeah, so this one will probably remain the storage for the front loader and the seed and fertilizer and lime and all that stuff. This could pretty much just stay like this. And then this side, truck, TMR, other tractor. Yeah, I think, or total mixer, the mixer and the, the other tractor. I don't think there's much else we'll need for now. We will need a wrapper. Because we do need silage, so... Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Might have a look at um, doing, I don't know, like either getting a, a wrapper on its own or getting, probably if we get another round baler, we'll have to get, we don't have to, we can use what we've got here to load it actually, but a actual loader would be pretty handy you know so i don't know we'll see we'll see what we do see how we get on with what we've got now we're gonna try and get on with what we got now as much as we can such a nice truck as well isn't it we're really lucky with the gear we got the, the equipment we've got. And the farm is actually really, really growing. Going really well. Obviously, we don't actually... We haven't actually made any money with the farm yet. But that's kind of besides the point. Right, we'll drop that there. And then I think... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That pretty much fits perfectly there. And think we'll be able to we could maybe move it forward a little bit but then the boom's gonna be the gooseneck's gonna be 
out of the from under the roof so I think this is good I think I think we got everything we need in here right now pretty well to be honest yeah uh, and then the, the chicken coop will will fit in nicely it'll come to about from what I've estimated what was it 14 so I think it's about here so we'll put it as close to the trees on this side as we can uh, which I think is this tree, if I remember correctly. This is the closest one. This one here. So if we walk from our back against the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ish. So it'll come to around here. So even if we eventually do need another shed, we could potentially just put one another one of this just right next to it. I would like a gap in between. Maybe just, like, so we can drive through it. I don't know. That's for the future. We don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, the chicken coop is going to be really good. That's going to, I think, give us a, a reason or something to do with the wheat. I think that's the bigger problem. The big, the big problem I have with it is the fact that the wheat that we need for the straw will kind of not go to waste, but it won't quite make enough money for the wheat itself to actually mean anything, you know? So, I'm kind of excited to just get some chickens, and we can use the chickens to get rid of the wheat. That way, everything that the field the fields make goes towards something else, and then ultimately, you know, um, grows the farm, makes money for the farm in a better way, in my opinion. Right, that fits perfectly. Let's put the tractor in probably we can probably just put the tractor straight ahead to be honest. Make sure it's quite it's actually under the roof. There we go. That's good enough. Yeah, perfect. Alright. Now we've got an empty shed. That's okay. Righto, guys, that's going to be the end of this vlog. I'm going to go have a look at making making offer for that, and I'm going to talk to the chicken coop guy, the farmer, and see if I, there's any other work stuff I need to do regarding that. But farm-wise, because we can't plant, there's nothing else we can really do. That is going to be it, and therefore, that's going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya!